All right, thanks, Scott. The accident in the Gulf is an environmental tragedy, but is it also a unique event, or could it just happen again? Here to discuss the risky business of crude is John Hofmeister, former president of Shell Oil Company. He is also the author of Why We Hate the Oil Company's Straight Talk from an Energy Insider. John, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, so we just watched Scott Cohn's report. It was unsettling, to say the least. I mean, in your opinion, was this negligence? Or is this just the way it is? Is this a constant risk? Could it happen again today or even tomorrow? The hydrocarbon business is always a risky business, whether it's coal mining, gas exploration, or oil production. The risk will always be there. What companies do is wisely mitigate risk in every possible way. You heard Frank Laviano say earlier, you don't put a price on a human life. You really don't. You must proceed in this industry with caution, with risk mitigation procedures, with training and education and development, with simulation of crises. Every year I would go through simulated crises myself, along with my staff, to make sure that we knew what would happen if. There's always if but in John, any kind of a situation. Is that the industry norm? I mean, I guess what I'm really asking is, is BP the standout in a bad way, or, or is what they did in this case not up to what you're talking about, it seems like? Uh, are they alone in the industry, or could this happen tomorrow? We really have to find out what exactly happened, because it's my view, and I think others share it, that when you look at the compromised blowout protector, the design of the well, the cement job, the poor testing of the cement job, the lack of spacing, there were a lot of human factor decisions here, which I don't think other companies would have made. And I don't know that it's BP that's making this. It could have been the individual on the rig who took risk himself, and that's what we have to find out. I do not think this could happen tomorrow. Yeah. I think this is an anomaly. I think we had 35,000 successful wells drilled in the Gulf of Mexico. This is the first major, and I hope the only, major blowout. So when you saw the footage from this blowout on the day it happened, would you say that you were shocked and surprised because the people in the industry that Scott talked to were not, and that's what's striking. Were you surprised? I was horrified, and yes, I was surprised. Okay. Because you just don't take the chances that I think were taken on this rig. No matter what, you know, down the road five years from now, isn't there likely to be more drilling than less? I mean, isn't that the bottom line? Absolutely, there has to be. China's selling 13 million cars this year. Every day that we wake up in America, we need 20 million barrels of oil to get through the day. 94% of all of our commerce comes from diesel or turbine engines that only operate on oil. We're, we're hooked for a long time to come. The alternatives are not robust, and they've hardly begun. So we have decades ahead of us, and unless we want to pay through the nose for oil through imports, we'd better produce our own domestic production. All right, still to come, our all-star panel is set to weigh in on our need for energy innovation, plus... A trip to the Great White North.